Welcome to the North Fork of the Payette River here in central Idaho. This is one of the rivers that drains from the west side of the Sawtooth Mountains on its way to join the Snake River. Uh, I'm here with some family and friends. We're doing a little whitewater rafting trip down this section called the Kabartan. Thanks for joining me today. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey. Uh, just looking forward to sharing a little bit about the whitewater here, a little bit about the geology and some of the history and just show you some of the sites as we go down river. So our boat's all ready, our crew's already kind of heading down. So we'll go ahead and see a little further down river. Okay, so we've come down a couple miles here. The first few miles of the Cabartan section are uh, pretty flat water, not a lot of rapids, but really beautiful scenery. The big uh, evergreen trees. Occasionally we'll see bald eagle or osprey uh, coming out of the trees, flying around. That's always nice. And then geologically, this section of river, like most of the Payette sections, is mainly the granite or granitic rocks of the Idaho Batholith. So this big, massive um, exposure of granite from about 70 to 90 million years ago during the Cretaceous. Um, you know, the railroad line right through here, but there's an outcrop just on the other side. Um, and so that forms the hard sort of backbone of this section of the river where we see some of the rapids, that sort of thing. And all the granite here was a result of the subduction of a plate, the Farallon plate, plate beneath North America uh, during the Cretaceous. So just a nice view of this section of the Cabartan. We kind of run the flat section just spin the boat around so you can get a bit of a 360 view. And then our first kind of serious rapid is just up ahead. So we'll run a few more videos as we go down through this section of the Cabartan. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so we just came down through Trestle Rapid, um, the first class three, and now our crew's stopping over here to get some lunch. Just pulled off to a little, little section here. Um, but a good place here to look at some of the geology. So we've got the railroad grade here with some of the granitic rocks from the Cretaceous Idaho Batholith. Um, and then right here in front of me is some nice exposures as well of this granitic rock. Um, some really nice, exceptional, large potassium feldspar crystals in here. We can see their kind of rectangular shape showing up in places in the rock, indicating uh, possibly a, a slower cooling rate at some point as this magma was crystallizing. And then over here, we've also got some of another characteristic feature you see in the most granitic rocks are these uh, dikes that cut through them. So these are typically what we call aplite dikes. Uh, they lack some of the dark minerals that you see in the granite, like biotite. 
So it tends to typically be just quartz and feldspar minerals in there. Um, again, some of these larger potassium feldspar crystals here running through this. So yeah, a little outcrop above us here. Um, then lots of broken boulders and then like the big trees running up through here. So yeah, just going to share some sections of this part of river with you. Um, just really beautiful part of Idaho. One of our favorite places we come. We try to do this rafting trip in this part of the, the Payette River section um, usually once a year. We haven't been for two years, so this has uh, been real fun to be here. So we'll we'll film some more as we go down river. There's some more rapids. There's a final rapid near the end called Howard's Plunge where it really drops uh, pretty steeply over a short distance. So we'll make sure we've got uh, my daughter, the camera person, running some footage for you down there as well. But mainly just show you a little geology, a little whitewater experience, uh, maybe hopefully make your day a little bit better. Rivers are therapeutic in my opinion, just beautiful places where we can reconnect with nature and just, just awesome places to be. So hope you enjoy this little section of the North Fork of the Payette River here in central Idaho. Here's where the high or uh, the river goes beneath the highway, Highway 55, which goes between Boise and McCall. And then below this point, the river uh, largely parallels the highway. And there's quite a few rapids. The channel's more narrow because in constructing the highway, there was some uh, boulders they had to push in. So the river corridor is a little more narrow. So we'll we'll film a couple more rapids as we head down through that section. But we give you a nice view here of the Highway 55 bridge, which I'm sure has a lot of cool history notes here, but I'm not aware of them. So you can look that up on your own. Don't know when it was built. Looks like it's made out of mostly cement. Here we go. Go right underneath it here and then we'll We'll shut off for another section of rapids here and then see how it goes. So if you look to your right here, you'll see some rocks. And if you look to your left over here, you'll see right, more forward. rocks. And in nature, it turns out there are rocks. And sometimes humans Hang on up front, also hold on to rocks. So we're almost to the last rapid on this section of the North Fork of the Payette, a drop called Howard's Plunge. Class three plus, it's just kind of a crazy little drop. Uh, more of the anticipation's worse than the actual drop, but we'll take, take a look at it here. And then as we move past Howard's Plunge, the water uh, flattens out quite a bit and then we end up at the end. So we'll let you guys get a feel for Howard's Plunge here. Videographer is my awesome daughter, Tessa. You're welcome, general yeah, public. Uh, so there's the drop. Good. I remember. Word. Here's a view of Howard's plunge from exactly right where it happens. You can see a big pour over on the right side with this big recirculating hole. That's the thing to avoid. Then just beyond you can see a tongue of water, that green tongue coming down. That's more or less the line you want to hit. Here comes our first boat. So it's a solid run. There's a wicked eddy that can show up down here if you're too close. Here comes our ducky with our teenage boys. Oh, they stayed in. Very nice. Here comes our little yellow boat, Lemon Drop. That's my boat, captained by Hallie Huber, world famous river guide. Nice. 
float here, the blue whale. Sweet, everyone came through safely. So we'll head out from here. There's a nice flat water float, about a mile or so to the takeout. Hope you enjoyed this little adventure with me today. Uh, just wanted to show a little bit of the geology, the granitic rocks down here, obviously the rapids, which are the sort of the, the focal point here. Yeah, so thanks for joining me on this little adventure. Till next time, Sean Wilsey, geology professor. Thanks for joining me. Take care.